It's been a year since we've been doing online worship with recorded messages. In the beginning, it's no worries to stand before a microphone and pulpit to share God's word, but to know that my words and my expressions we put online forever has been pretty intimidating. I'm so thankful for brothers and sisters in Christ who put in so many long hours so that we can work together to make this a setting and a place where God is glorified and we can worship him with everlasting hope. In this way, I see God is faithful. It's been a year of ups and downs. It's quite amazing how far we've come from the beginning. There are so many things to learn and different equipment we need and just a lot of things going on with no time to prep. Many thanks for the team for coming in on Saturdays to record and editing and planning throughout the week. We're still fumbling everywhere, but looking back to the beginning, we have come a long way. There are still a lot of unknowns ahead, but I am hopeful for the future, and I know that God is faithful. It's been a year of doing church online. It's been a year of figuring out what the next steps look like, how to build community online through Zoom fellowships. It's been a year of editing videos every single week for online church. It's been a year with a lot of different conversations and every week sounds different. Yet God has remained the same. The same God of the Old Testament, the New Testament, is the same God who is faithful to us today. God is faithful. It has been a year uh, learning how to adapt to do church online, but I'm very thankful that there was a creative team that will, that will put out weekly content to help with our spiritual growth. Through their efforts and hard work, I see that God is faithful. It's been a year of unpredictable challenges. These moments of uncertainties made us realize just how fragile we are. But yet God, our creator, continues to be patient to invite you and I to seek him and to grow. God uses these times to shape us, to rethink, break down assumptions, and we focus about what truly is essential. We get to witness Ecclesiastes chapter 3, a time for everything, a season for every activity under heavens, a time to plant and uproot, a time to tear down and to build, a time to be silent and a time to speak. Indeed, everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing will be taken from it. The Lord is inviting us today to look to Him for the hope that will not disappoint you, whose faithfulness endures forever. It's been a year since all our church activities moved online. And one of the amazing things that I've seen in this year is how different people have stepped forward with just the right experiences and gifts and talents to fit the unique demands of this unprecedented time. And to see how God has really raised up people for such a time as this. Truly, God is faithful. Online space. The order of sheltering place confined us to a physical space and put to rest the oh-so-familiar pace, the non-stop being out and about race against time. The way we did life put on hold while church follows suit as we were told. For hours, for weeks, for many, many days, March passed, then April, and then May. Gathering was no longer a feasible option. Six feet apart became the newest lifestyle adoption. Information, communication, and education. Everything got shifted from its original location. Every one of us had to face and embrace and process our new lives in a virtual space. Online school, online work, online church. It was in a pandemic that an essential ministry was birthed. Ministry and fellowships done over Zoom. Small groups and games in breakout rooms. Weekly video recordings on Saturdays. Scene one, take one, the most repeated phrase. Upgrading equipment for lights, camera, action. Cracking out videos to one's satisfaction. Sunday mornings on Facebook Live. Checking in with comments at 9.35. Marketing on various social media platforms. Online ministry challenging us to break norms. Even in a pandemic, we can clearly see Christ's beloved church with a capital C can still thrive in whatever scenery. The gospel never changes nor is restricted to a place. 
The context is just now in online ministry space.